So welcome to AC everyone, here we are at the Hungaro ring. The race is about to start, almost hit the BMW on the off the line. On the now this is a circuit I have been to in real life, obviously the formal was just here as well, Max Verstappen taking the win. Three wide, all clear, clear on the left. Hard to think about anything else, here we'll dive up the inside as usual. Oh, ACC traffic jam at turn one. <laughs> We'll gain a few positions from that. We'll take it. Up into P11 with Robin Fryens here. But yeah, we're on the PS5 today. I just want you to have to look. If you're watching the 4K, have a look at... Car on the right. Sorry, Robin. Have a look at the side view mirrors on the right. Can you see the amount of detail in those side mirrors? I know ACC gets a lot of flag for not being good looking on console. And historically, it hasn't been. I still think the package... The package as a whole isn't quite as good as GT7, it's not as well rounded. But there are certain bits that are very, very, very nice. And those um, side mirrors are one. I don't think Grand Turismo 7 has that kind of detail. But we are on the PS5. I love checking in from time to time and just seeing how is ACC doing on PS5. And well, we're in an intense race here because there's 27 cars on track. And the facts are, you can't do that in Grand Turismo 7. <laughs> I think that was just about an okay rejoin. Back down into P20. ACC is just such a violent game. It's such a violent game. Like when we had that crash, it just felt like you had the silence as we're skidding along the tarmac and then everything kind of crunches. It's a violent game when you go over the curbs and the sausages. When you're next to another car, it feels violent. It's just, it's an angry, aggressive game is ACC, but you have to drive so smoothly because Time order is way more advanced than Grand Turismo 7. So if you just be too aggressive when you're driving, you just slide on the tyres and you overheat the tyres. So it's not about Grand Turismo 7. You just want to get the rotation at all costs. So it's a it's a it's a confusing game for me. It's a confusing game for me. Can we go up the inside here? Car on the left. Just about. See how close he runs me on the exit. Clear on the left. P21, Perel's gone down to 17. Let's try and get a nice exit here. Very awful corner with the adverse camber. Oh my, that's not a good line, is it? Nope. Oh my word, this is. ACC just demands your attention at all times, demands it. I hate it when you lose that momentum as well because it's not like GT, you can just kind of cheat your way through the corner sometimes, just cheat some rotation. Here, if you're getting that rotation, you're normally scrubbing off way too much speed. Just real slow, but it's slow. Trying to carry through that one in third game. We have caught this pack. trying to take the widest lines I can to kind of keep that momentum. Tricky corner, this one. You can see the elevation change. It's not something you can really appreciate in the game, but when you go to the Hungary ring, it's something that you can uh, definitely see then. Climb up. Try and just the car on go the up left. the inside of Lambo here. On the left. Went a bit of slides. Just hear that tire lock. I, ne I was in that corner. I was never in control. I was never in control of that corner. I was always way out of the operating well, window of the car. Me, then if you could hear the tires just complaining and the way I was sliding across the tarmac. Car on the left. Clear on the left. I was never in control of that corner. Here again, look how much sliding on the exit. Just really, we are not driving well at the moment at all. Car on the left, clear on the left. I think we've got to spend a bit more time off the throttle, perhaps. Let's see if we can get close to the rail, though. Oh, I took way too much curve there. Car's bouncing, my lines are horrendous. My flow is impetuous. Right here's Perel. 
Can we sneak up the inside at the chicane? Car on the left. Clear on the left. We'll have to give the, that one back, Steve, but I think we'll have to give it back. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Oh, and the sun's going down as well. The sun's going down, so... Visibility isn't absolutely fantastic here. So we're dicing with David. He was just racing in the Spa 24 hours in real life. My old Car mate who I raced with in Gran Turismo when he was doing that back in the day. Car on the right. Oh, Clear on the hey. right. There is the sun. Struggling to see anything, to be honest. My car has lights on, they're not doing much. Again, I'm just really struggling on the exit. See my rear tyres are not up to pressure. They're not up to pressure, and I wonder if that's hurting me. Okay, a bit more visibility now. Come on, car. Want to be patient. not slide on the tyres and make the whole issue worse. It's a bit smooth at that time through there. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Just about made it that time. Next up to Bentley. Again, there's an angry Lambo behind me. Visibility is really not good. Really not good. I can barely make anything out. Let's go cockpit. just drive by memory of where I knew the corners were before because I assume they haven't moved so I can't see them now don't know why my pit limits are things come on well, this is an experience Funny if I'm driving better when I can't see. <laughs> My ears are doing a lot more work now. I'm trying to listen to the car and the revs. But I, I really can't see anything at all. I think it might be better on YouTube, but. Yeah, 
It's a lot happier now, the car, a lot happier with the track. TC is kicking in too much. I think when I'm sliding, what happens is the right, TC kicks, kicks in. Job, so if I'm just, in. if I can just be smoother, the traction control won't kick in as much. Well, I get properly addicted to ACC because that is really, really, really involving. Really involving. I hope you liked it. Some more videos up here if you want to see them. But otherwise, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.